The question, how would you write a final Discworld novel about Sam Vimes featuring his death? Honorably retired, the Duke of Ankh totters around an empty mansion. Sybil is dead and Vimes and his equally stubborn son are going through one of their periods of not speaking. On a Tuesday he still meets the last of the old guard. Reg the zombie, Navi nods, detritus and the librarian in the mended drum for a tomato juice. Occasionally ducking under the table to avoid the very reverend visit the infidel with pamphlets. If he happens to pass the window. They remember Colin who finally achieved his long cherished dream of moving to the country and died a week later chasing a pig. The patrician who died in bed and lay there for three days because his clerks had a collective mental breakdown at the thought of a world without him so they pretended he was still alive, until Vimes came in and kicked their asses. Moist von Litwick stormed the popular election to replace him. Cheery little bottom is head of chemistry at the new Ahmed, Ankh Morpork Institute of Technology, which has an uneasy relationship with the university and its arch-chancellor Ponder Stevens who is half-shocked that they're effrontery, half-jealous of their shiny toys. While when their puppies came along, Carrot and Angua decided to take a job with Lady Margalotta in the Uberwald. Initially the watch was in the safe hands of Captain Haddock, but on his retirement to Lonker, Captain Fiddley has a taken the helm who Vimes remembers as an idiot Lance Corporal. So when Lutz turns up with a mystery he gathers up the old gang and they head across the plains and other popular Discworld spots to investigate. Bumping into such old friends as Tiffany defiantly not head with shaking, Agnes and Perdita Knit etc etc as they career about we notice that something is not quite right. In a move that is definitely not right, Vimes brings them into a dangerous situation and Nobby Nobs is gravely injured. They go to Uberwald to Carrot and Angua for help, but the Igors don't have any organs that would fit him and he dies. It is then that Carrot and Angua realize that Samuel Vimes has Alzheimer's and is just flashing back to his old cases. There is no mystery. The Igors embalm Nabi and everyone journeys to Sam Jr. and his estate, where he is doing for goblins what his mother did for dragons. There in a moment of lucidity Vimes is able to say goodbye and asks his son to give him peace. Vimes is buried next to Sybil with Nobby at their feet. I got quite emotional writing this. Terry Pratchett means a lot to me. R.I.P.